Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today we're going to be doing something we've never done before on the channel. We're going to be doing some Robo Rumble now. I see a lot of YouTubers actually do this. Uh, a lot of people are actually interested in this, which I find really, really interesting. So I thought, why not just show the best two compositions that you can run um, on this map. So what we're going to be doing to start off is 8-Bit, Pam, and Jesse. And the reason being three turrets, so that's like three body blocks almost. You know, you also get the health, the Jesse turret. And, you know, 8-bit obviously just being super, super good. So, obviously, you know, this is just a dominant comp here. So, we're going to go into it. We're going to bet 20 tickets. Again, we're going to do two games. We're going to get max time each game. I'm fairly confident we're going to get it. Um, just because, you know, we know how to do it. We know what the comps are. And we know what to do. We're going for over six minutes. That's the goal both times. I have no communication with these guys. I'm just hoping that, you know, they know what to do. So, anyways, let's jump into these games and let's see what we can do. Now, obviously, the start for this game is a little bit interesting. So let's talk a little bit um, since this is going to be a little bit slow to start off. So again, I, let's let's talk about the mic to start off. OK, so the mic, this is the first. Well, it's not the first time that I said something. It hasn't happened, but I want to defend myself for this one. Um, I said I was going to get a new mic next video and I did. I have the mic fully set up. I have the stand set up. I have everything set up, except it's missing one piece. The actual mic isn't connected to the stand because it's missing a nut. And we just simply, you know, it, I wasn't sent it. It was missing a piece. So I had to go to the, I went to the hardware store late at night. I went for the, I went to get the nut. And of course it wasn't there. They had every single size I needed, uh, every single size I didn't need. And the only size they didn't have was the one I needed. So, I mean, that's obviously a shame. So, you know, I'm trying my best, but we, I ordered one on Amazon. It should be coming soon ish, probably in a couple days or something. We'll see what happens, but Anyways, there is something coming. I'm sorry that I told you guys and it hasn't actually happened yet. So I do apologize for that. But that's just one thing I wanted to clear the air and get out of the way. Now, another thing I want to talk about is different series. So I've noticed that a little bit of my gameplay is starting to become a little bit repetitive. I know a lot of you guys are very, very interested in how to gain cups. And that's why you guys like watching my gameplay. You guys like watching just me ripping ladder because you guys want to see exactly how to do it. Exactly how to gain cups. What's good comps on each maps. How do I win? How do I play? Etc. But a lot of you guys also aren't into that content. And I want to try and reach out to all of you guys. So what I'm going to start doing is start doing a, a bunch of like different series. So what I'm going to start doing is brawler series. I'm going to start doing in-depth guides on every single brawler in the game. Now I know people like um, like Kairos do them. I'm pretty sure Ray does it. Coach Corey might do a little bit of it. But I'm going to go really, really in-depth. Kind of like what I do for the Brawl Ball guide. Obviously it's not going to be 45 minutes. It's probably going to be somewhere around 15 minutes for the video. But it's going to go super, super in-depth. Less about numbers and inform and being informative and actually just about, you know, what comps to play it in, how to play it, what maps to play it in, where it's going to be easy to gain cups, where you shouldn't play, etc. And I'm going to be showing some gameplay with those as well. Now, I want to start doing two or three different series at the same time. So I have the Brawler Guides is going to be one. And I want to know what you guys want to see for another one. Um, I've been talking to my friends about an idea. And it's actually pretty hard to think of ideas for this type of stuff because it's really hard to reach an audience that everyone likes. Um, I've seen a couple times people say, you know, take in uh, viewers gameplay and watch that gameplay and just let me know what you guys think about the gameplay. Uh, kind of review it, say what you could have done better, what they did wrong, etc. But I feel like that's only going to be good for the people whose gameplay is actually being reviewed. It's not going to go to a large target um, of people. Like, I'm just, I just don't think people would like that too much. Someone else said a bounty guide. My friend Kennedy actually said that and uh, not like a guide, but kind of like a challenge where we would go on a map with a certain brawler and try and get above a certain amount of stars. Uh, but you guys don't really like bounty, so I can't do that. So just let me know in the comment section below the type of stuff that you guys want to see, because that's the type of stuff that I'm going to be releasing. Obviously, I make videos for you guys, so there's no point in releasing things that you guys don't like. So obviously, just let me know exactly what you guys want to see, and I'm going to get that out for you guys. So just put it in the comment section below. That's all I need from you guys. Just let me know what you want to see. Uh, whatever gets the most likes, obviously, I'm more likely to do. Uh, but yeah, that's that. So let's focus a little bit here. So what's the goal of this comp? What do you want to do with this comp? You basically want to put your turrets on the safe so, that's th so that things hit the safe are your turrets and not the safe. So I'm not actually going to put it inside. Now I'm going to put it to like the side so that it gets a little bit of a body block. Hopefully Connor gets a turret and he puts it like somewhere over here, for example. But basically what we have is extra HP, extra damage, and then the Jesse turret to cap it all off. Obviously 8-Bit and Pam does a huge amount of DPS if you're hitting all your shots, which again, bots, you guys 100% should be hitting all your shots. So yeah, this is a really, really good comp. We're going to talk about the second comp once we get into that game. But so far, we're doing pretty good. Again, the goal is to get above six minutes, which is considered a really good time. We currently have four minutes. We haven't really faced anything. 
that has challenged us yet, but it usually just comes all of a sudden. It usually just hits you at around like the five minute 30 mark and you're like, oh my God, this just went zero to 100 and it's literally impossible. And that, that's when you kind of just have to scrap and try and make your way um, to six minutes which, minutes, which is the second max time. The max time is actually six minutes, 15 seconds. So I guess that's gonna be our goal. Connor is doing a great job. Again, you don't want to die in this. That's the, that's definitely the last thing you want to do is die. If you die, then you're basically ruined. Throw turrets in front of you. Throw everything you can in front of you. It's definitely the strat. But Connor just did that right there. Definitely isn't okay. But since we're at the four minute mark, we probably can uh, just hold off for now until uh, Connor respawns. There he is. So we're chilling. We're about 30 seconds away from things. Really, really, really picking up. You guys can see they have the gold bots now. Waves are starting to come in a lot faster as well. Connor probably needs to have a better turret location. Guess they're coming from over here. Gonna melt them with the Pam as fast as possible. You guys can see the waves are stacking up, and it's actually annoying how these slow guys are coming so slow, because it's gonna allow other people to get closer. It looks like that turret is fighting somebody over there. I'm gonna go over here and grab this sniper since I can just stand here and basically 1v1 it while my teammates get high DPS going. So we're currently at 5.30. We're doing a really, really good job so far. Gonna try and melt these guys as fast as possible. Uh, I gotta stand in front right here. Again, really important that nobody dies. We hit 5.30 just now. So this is the point where we really gotta focus up and start hitting our shots, start doing everything properly. Two people spawning over here. Um, do we have the Jesse turret? I don't think we have it down at the moment, which definitely isn't very good. Uh, we're about to hit six minutes. Jesse does have her turret now, which is good. Again, it's really important that we don't die. It's okay if we get a, if they hit a couple shots and do a little bit of percentage to the safe. It doesn't matter as long as we don't die. We currently just hit the six minute mark and this is when everything just starts to go in. I'm gonna drop my turret right over here. A little bit of a body block. Again, the goal is to hit six and a half minutes. Or not six and a half, sorry, six minutes, 15 seconds. We're doing a really good job at that so far. We currently just hit it, and here we go. We're just going to body block now and try and do the most we can. But there's basically nothing we can do. That is going to end it right there. So six minutes and 23 seconds. That is really, really, really good, actually. That's going to get you max coins. Obviously, we bet 20 tickets because we know we're going to get this. So let's get all of our ticketed rewards. There's 640. That's six boxes and yeah, let's head into the second game. We're going to be running a different comp. We're going to be talking about that comp and why it's good in the next game. Let's hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the next game. What we're going to be doing here is instead of the Jesse, you're going to be substituting the Bull. Um, substituting out the Jesse for the Bull. Now, obviously, you guys know, um, you guys from watching last game, we shredded up the Pam Shred. And the Jesse kind of just stood there and didn't do too much. Now, Jesse could be really good for the extreme, extreme end games, like when people are really close to each other. But... Personally, I just don't think it's the best comp. Um, I think this one's definitely better. It's just Bull has an insane amount of DPS. Bull is really good. No reason not to run Bull. So again, you know, we're going to have to kind of make our way up to that point. So we can talk about um, a little bit of the ideas again for the channel. So again, I was thinking about other stuff. Um, the, the player just like the thoughts in my mind of reviewing gameplay is something I've heard more than once It's something I've heard actually quite often by a lot of people, but I just don't really think that's gonna work out um, The bounty one I don't mind but again I don't think you guys are gonna want to watch bounty bounty is not really the funnest mode Maybe if there's a challenge involved you guys would want to see it, but I'm not sure so again, let me know. But again, just sprinkle any ideas. I'm down to hear anything and I'm down to record anything, anything that you guys want. I'm pretty fixated on doing these brawler guys because I know I can do them better than anybody else with my gameplay and the tips that I can get you guys in terms of amazing editing. There's no way that we can't get you guys the best guide that there is possible. So anyways, we're going to focus a little bit up here. Um, just trying to take out the spot as easily as possible. But it's a little bit hard to focus when you know everything's going to be fine and that you basically have to wait for the next wave to come up because they're doing a really good job again i think bull is just better than jesse bull can just go up and tank shots do a ton of damage especially with 8-bit helping out with that uh with that boost okay big bot's coming it should be red so we're gonna make our way down over here mcdees is just gonna go in break those walls <laughs> he's not a fan of those walls i suppose but yeah we're just gonna go in do it just do a bunch of damage uh, so we're gonna kill that. McDees is gonna go down for the second time before we all do in this video. Maybe he is not fit for this mode. But yeah, we got three spectators. I don't know why three people are watching us bet 20 tickets and do nothing here. 
here we go. We're moving on to the golden waves, and this is when things start to become really, really difficult. Also, do not break these walls because there's specific entrance points, and you guys can laser them through the entrance points. And if you guys break the walls, you know, those entrance points aren't really a thing. So we're on to wave 23 here. I'm trying to scout this top, see if anyone's over here. We're gonna be able to take out one guy on the top. Gonna be able to melt this guy, and again, the goal is to get six minutes and 15 seconds, as that is the max time. So almost exactly one minute, a minute and three seconds now is all we need. Gonna get some lasers going on this guy. Gonna be able to get that kill, wave 25. There we go, we're getting some good shots here. Here we go, this wave is about to be the one that gets us trapped, basically. They take a little bit of a long time to get to you. And then the next wave starts. There you go. Wave 28 has started. And this is when things get difficult. Six minutes in. We only need 15 more seconds. We're going to try and catch one right off the top. So much HP for this guy. It's really hard to get that kill. 608. Okay, I think we're going to be our last time. Which is really good. Oh, we got to put this down now. 616. Okay, let's beat this wave. Okay, yep. This is where we're dying. 100%. Let's try and get to 630 maybe though. I'm kind of training this guy away, which is kind of funny. I'm going to put this down over here. It's not going to last much longer though, but we did get to 6 minutes and 33 seconds, which is absolutely huge. And that's a really good time. And, you know, that's just another 640 tokens which is another six boxes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I would definitely consider running these comps. If you guys are trying to farm your tickets, get some boxes and just try and, you know, become a, or get a max account or save boxes like I like to do because I'm maxed out already. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We haven't done something like this before. So if you guys like it, leave it in the comment section below. And again, don't be afraid to say any of your ideas, like the ideas that, you know, you see in the comment section below. But that is going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, let me know. And that is going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.